Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. Today, we are on episode number 215. As always, I am Shane Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. Also, make sure to check out the Code Karate Patreon page. Today, we're going to be piggybacking on a past module we just covered, the Contact Storage module. And we're going to be looking at the Contact Storage Export module. So let's get started. The Contact Storage Export module provides one really uh, simple use case. If you're using the contact storage module, which if you remember, allows you to save the contact form submissions from the Drupal core contact module into the database. So you can view past submissions. So this way you don't have to use web form or entity forms or a heavier solution. You can just use the basic core contact module and just view those results later. The contact storage export module just gives you the, the ability to export those out into a CSV file. If you wanted, since you can use views to view the contact submissions, you could use a views data export module and build your own view, and that would work as well. However, this is just an easy solution if you want the simple ability to download the contact form submissions as a CSV. There are a few requirements for this module, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. When you install this, you can see I have the core contact module enabled, I have contact storage enabled, and contact storage export. This does require the serialization or the CSV serialization module, which you are going to have to use Composer to download this because it downloads some additional dependencies uh, and libraries to, in order to get this to work. So make sure you're using Composer. You should It's the best way to manage your modules and your site dependencies anyways, but just keep that in mind that it's going to be a lot easier if you use Composer. You don't have to try to download and put everything in the right spots. So all we have to do to see it in action is head on over to one of our contact forms. And as you can see, I can view the messages, which is the contact storage module. But I'm also given the ability, if you go back to the main page, I'm also given the ability to export these submissions. So I just simply click Export Submissions and it allows me to uh, set up a few things on the export. I can have it only export new messages since the last export. That's handy, so you don't have to duplicate data. You just get the ones that are new. You can also select what columns you want to be exported. You can select the actual file name, the date format, and just simply hit export. Then you can click download. It's going to go ahead and download it. All you do then is open it up in whatever spreadsheet program you use and voila, you have your form submissions in a CSV form. As you can see, that's an incredibly simple module that does one very simple task, but it can make, uh, if you have a client that requires the ability to export those contact form submissions, maybe they import it into Salesforce or something like that, or they just want to store it and keep it so they have that as past history. Uh, this module allows that and it's very easy to set up and use. It takes only a few seconds. So go ahead and check it out. Let me know if you have any other suggestions and we'll see you next time.